Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my shirt roundup video for January. So this is all the shirts I've picked up from sites such as eBay, Vinted or Depop um, through the month of January um, to add to my shirt collection. These are the ones that don't get featured on my um, Wednesday video. These are the second hand shirts I pick up and um, generally get for really good prices. However, um, this month it's a bit of a case of the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, a couple of not so great purchases this month um, and I'll explain why when I get to them. So we'll start off with those um, not so um, great purchases. Um, so as I've mentioned on the channel before, I do spend a bit of time watching um, Jari's um, football shirt um, channel um, on um, YouTube. And he's a big Feyenoord fan, um, so I felt I needed to pick up a Feyenoord shirt to add to my collection. Um, after disappointing him by getting an Ajax one last month. Um, so I, I am finding it a bit difficult to find a Feyenoord shirt in the right size. Um, having um, a lot of their shirts been made by Kappa, which is, very, as we know, very small fitting shirts. But recently they've moved to Adidas, um, and I thought I'd found one. Um, so, I found one on eBay. And this is the shirt. It is the 2018-2019 Feyenoord shirt. But um, on arrival, unfortunately, I found this shirt to be fake. Um, it's got a number on the back, um, Kiprik, number nine. I'm sure Jerry will tell me if it's a good, but you can even still buy the um, state of the transfer. You can actually see the shirt through the transfer there, um, how cheap the shirt is. The quality is absolutely terrible. Um, the pattern on the shirt is is um, very much like the shirt, but unfortunately, a big fail. So I will be doing something with that. I'm not quite sure what yet, but um, I will find somewhere for that shirt to go. So unfortunately, a bit of disaster on the old Feyenoord shirt. And then another one I'm kind of on the fence with. It has got all the right labelling and all the correct um, sort of codes and stuff. But it just, again, feels really cheap for an Adidas shirt. Um, I don't know whether in 2014 Adidas were doing shirts like this or just because it's for the Turkish market. Um, but I picked up this Besiktas 2014-2015 um, shirt. Now, I only jumped on it because it was really, really going through really cheap on eBay. And that should have been a, a bit of a warning for me. But um, what um, I'm not 100% sure on the authenticity, it does have the encodes on the inside. Um, but everything is sort of screen printed. There's like no embossing of the badge, the, the actual... Um, badges and sponsor and um, Adidas and the Adidas three stripes um, and all the sponsors on the back are all actually just printed into the um, and into the shirt material and that to me is a very much a I very rarely see shirts like that so again I have a feeling this could be another fake shirt which I've um, managed to purchase myself so unfortunately um, I think it is a bit of another dud it does fit all right and the sizing is, is okay but like I say, it does just doesn't feel like that quality that you'd expect from wearing a shirt. But I have looked on um, Besiktas kit history, and when you, when you pull the picture, it does look like the shirt is screen screen printed. So it could be an authentic one. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it just does feel cheap. So I think at some point, um, it, if I'm able to, I will upgrade to a different Besiktas shirt and um, send that one on its way. So. There's the um, bad and the ugly part of the video out of the way. Now onto the good stuff. So, next shirt I managed to pick up. And again, all of these have come from eBay this time. Um, I did have a bit of a vintage month last year, last month. Um, and it is this New York Red Bulls shirt. And a very, very nice shirt at that. So you've got your um, Red Bulls sort of sponsor on the front. I've got the New York Red Bulls um, crest there. Obviously Adidas. The MLS patch on the sleeve, and then obviously the Adidas three stripes down the side. You have got this slight patterning through the shirt, sort of diagonal lines going through it. But all, the, all in all, a very nice shirt. There is a little bit of damage to the sponsor at the front for the price I paid. I'm not overly worried about that. And adding my fourth um, MLS shirt to the collection. So New York Red Bulls into the collection. And like I say, quite a nice shirt that one. Um, and now, I think this is my favourite of all the shirts I've picked up. It is 
this Gremio Brazilian shirt. It is the first Brazilian shirt I have added to the collection. And this is the 2020 home shirt for Gremio. Now, I did get drawn to this one because of the patterning through the um, the blue lines. I thought it looked really cool and really fetching um, against the black. So you've got the Gremio badge, and it's um, a really good crested badge there. Um, really um, nice material. Um, Umbro. A lot of Umbro shirts coming out at the moment, so some really nice kits they're bringing out. Um, then you've got the um, Banish Yule sponsor on the front. Um, on the shoulders, you've got a Vero sponsor. And that's on both sides. And then you've got the um, Banish Rule sponsor on the back again, with the um, Umbro symbol on the back of the shirt. And then on the base of the shirt, you've got another sponsor, which is... What's it say? Unimed, uh, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it says to be honest with you. It's on the bottom of the shirt. But all in all, a very nice shirt. This one, one of um, I really like. It. I think it's one of the better ones in my collection. I think you'll agree. It's a very, very fetching, um, fetching football shirt. That one. And then on to the final one. And um, as you may have known recently, I've got a bit into the Den Danish teams, and I've managed to pick up another one. This one by the Danish manufacturer Hummel. And the first Hummel shirt I have added to my collection. So it is by the um, team at Bromby. Obviously made by Hummel. And then you've got this um, um, sponsor. Arbogen's Landers Bank on the um, front. I think that's the same sponsor as the Mittyland shirt as we showed last month. You've got the second sponsor, NTG Nordic Transport Group on the back. And no other ones. Obviously you've got the... Um, Hummel sort of diamond chevrons down the shoulders. Um, and it's sort of like a sort of two two tone blue sort of stripe design down the middle of it. All in all, I think a very nice shirt as well. And that's three Danish teams into the collection. And I have seen a fair few Danish shirts I do like. I do like Hummel shirts. And this is the first one I've managed to pick up. And I am going to look for a few more teams with Hummel manufacturing them. Um, obviously, um, not the... Um, Blue Noses of Everton, we don't want that sort of stuff, um, but um, obviously any Danish teams that I can get my hands on, I'll be looking for, um, I have seen a nice Allsberg, Allborg one, um, which I may look into getting, but um, really pleased with that. So, there it is, the five shirts for January, whether or not we get to five for um, February, we shall see, um, the first two are on the way though, I will let you know that. Um, so let me know which of your shirts are your favourites. What do you think? Um, I know for a fact the fine art shirt is a fake. Um, what do you think to the Besiktas shirt? Do you think that's a fake? I'm pretty much leaning towards fake. But the other three shirts are very, very nice. Which one of those is your favourites? Let me know in the comments. I do love to hear from all of you and I do try to um, respond um, as often as possible. Otherwise, if you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so. Um, otherwise, um, that's it for another Football Shirt Roundup. I'll see you for that video at the beginning of March, or maybe the end of February, whichever, whenever it comes out. Um, or if you like the um, channel, every Wednesday we do have a Football Shirt unboxing. Um, I will let you know the first Wednesday in um, April is going to be a full shirt collection video. So I'm going to go through every shirt in the collection, showing you all the ones I've managed to pick up over the last six to seven months of um, me collecting. Um, otherwise, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.